Hello friends, Crazy Jason here, and welcome to my brand new Cube Collection Overview. Yes, as you can see I have expanded, it's quite obvious, to those of you who have watched my uh, Cube Collection videos. If you haven't, you know, go down, check them out if you want to, they're lots of fun. Um, but the main thing is, uh, is that I've expanded, I've added an entire new section over here. And uh, we will go, we will take the crazy cam, patent pending, and we'll go over here and we'll go through each one close up. Now over here, uh, it's 80% the same. Um, the, the top, I've switched a few things around, and, and, and to add, I'm not... It, 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 I'm not happy, really, with the top, especially the top, um, is um, a work in progress. The whole thing actually is a work in progress. I do want to let you know that right away. Um, but especially the top, I'm not happy with. Um, there's something about the symmetry. Um, I need to feng shui it a little bit. Um, and some things just don't quite go together. But we'll talk about that in a little more detail when I go in with the, uh, you know, the close camera. I completely rearranged the Blu-rays. Um, redid that. So, I will show you that briefly in close-up. Um, and then a later video, when I finally, drum roll please, I said drum roll, god damn it! I will do a complete Blu-ray collection, finally. A, a, uh, collection overview. I know some of you have, have asked for that. So I will finally do that. Towards the bottom on both sides is kind of storage because I'm, I'm not done. As I say, this is truly a work in progress. Um, I am making a trip to Charlotte in about a week or two and I may be coming back with some cool stuff to put in cubes. So also I'll be making a uh, movie adventure. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, well here we go with the crazy cam. So we're gonna get into all the uh, close-up goodness. First thing I want to talk about is redid the Blu-rays. Um, as you can see, I've left room down here because I'm not completely done. This is not my entire Blu-ray collection, by the way. This is just a kind of a I'll explain. These are a lot of my go-to Blu-rays. In other words, these are the movies that I'm going to want to grab and watch. Uh, so that's why I have these in here. I also want to add that I am going to be expanding over to this wall. I've got these, uh, which by the way, someone is calling me by the way, but uh, you can get those at Ikea for a really cheap price if you're wondering where these uh, shelves come from. But yeah, I'm going to be buying a couple more of those so I can move even more of my Blu-rays into here and out of my office room. But let's, let's get started. What's going on up here crazy? Okay. Uh, it's still sci-fi up here. That's what's going on. So we're starting with sci-fi. Uh, I'm not going to go title by title because, again, this is not a Blu-ray uh, collection overview. But you can see... You know, what movies I have here. These are all, you know, my favorite um, sci-fi movies I have on Blu-ray. Uh, new ones, old ones, and uh, ones that I just, you know, just look fantastic on Blu-ray and I love to put in uh, from time to time. Sci-fi continues on down. And then you start to see it kind of moving into, uh, at the very end you get to Jurassic Park. And uh, as we continue down, it moves more into the uh, post-apocalyptic uh, category, with one exception being uh, Hot Fuzz, uh, which is part of the trilogy here, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. Um, <clears throat> also, you notice, hey, crazy, you're mixing HD DVD in with Blu-ray. Yes, I am. I am indeed. I am not being as much of a stickler as I once was. But anyway, post-apocalyptic goodness throughout here. And then uh, we move on up here. Up here I'm putting some packaging 
that's just doesn't quite fit. Like taxi driver, you guys know this is a little bit taller. For those of you who have the uh, this packaging, girl with the dragon tattoo, um, it's a little bit backwards. Uh, the Godfather trilogy, um, and then we move into uh, thrillers. So we kind of move from sci-fi into um, thrillers. Um, thrillers and dark psychological dramas, I, I would say. Um, and from there, we move into kind of an 80s section. Um, I, also, I want to I point out, guys, this movie right here, Lucas, I've got to do a singular review of that. I mean, if you're interested in me doing a singular review of Lucas, please leave a comment below. Because that is one of my most treasured movies of all time. But I put some, uh, it's kind of a John Hughes uh, coming of age kind of 80s thing going on here. I mean, you've definitely got John Hughes in The Breakfast Club. But then you've got Stand By Me, you've got Dead Poet Society, both coming of age uh, movies from the 80s that I love. I promised I wasn't going to go into detail, but here I am going into detail. Let me, let me speed this up a little bit. Okay, then we're moving into... What are we moving into here? I have no idea. This is a drama. This is kick-ass. Whatever. Uh, this, you know, it's kind of... This is a drama. This is train spotting. What else do you need to say but train spotting? Um, and you've got adventure movies. Okay, uh, I think we're moving into action, maybe. A little bit with 310 to Yuma, Point Break, Apocalypse Now. Um... Then we're moving more into, we've got a little bit of a war thing going on here. Enemy at the Gates, Full Metal Jacket. Okay, so let's move on to the other side. Uh, definitely comedies. Um, we've got your 80s comedies uh, mixed in here. We've got some new comedies. We have Step Brothers. We have a lot of stuff that I put in and watch. That's really the main point. Uh, moving down, we have horror. Uh, well, we have Tropic Thunder, which is hilarious. Um, if you haven't seen it, go forth. Uh, some of my go-to horror movies on Blu-ray that I like to watch. More horror movies on Blu-ray. Obviously, I do have a lot of horror movies on Blu-ray, because there's even more down here. Um, <clears throat> so, there you go. Blu-rays, uh... And uh, sort of an order, an order that makes sense, an order that uh, we can just go to the wall and uh, we kind of know where the section is, grab what we want, and we're ready to go. Okay, here's a top shelf once again, guys. Most of this is the same. Uh, we've got the inclusion of this guy, whom uh, I would assume all of you are familiar with. Uh, we still have Planet of the Apes box set up there, the Blade Runner briefcase underneath. Um, I did add in that Terminator lenticular slipcover edition of the Terminator because I got the new uh, Terminator movie, the, uh, the new remastered version. But I'm not sure about that. That's probably going to go because I also have this guy, this bobblehead, who I need to get new batteries for because his, his eyes actually light up. The DeLorean, that's not actually... Um, from Back to the Future, but, you know, it still kind of goes. Uh, of course, I've got the Starship Enterprise. I have a large queue. I have one of my favorite things is that framed Fallout poster, Fallout 3 poster. Of course, my Mad Max Petrol, my awesome Freddy Krueger, a Boba Fett, and the Commandi. You've seen all this before. Um, I'm not really sure. Some things, some of these guys may go... And some may stay, and I may put in some different stuff. This whole thing may get rearranged. I'm not sure. Uh, down below, we have my post-apocalyptic cubes. Well, really, you know, it's all post-apocalyptic, but the first two are dedicated to the Fallout series. Fallout 3 being the first one. You've seen this. Fallout New Vegas. Um, I haven't made any new additions to this lately. If you guys want to see these in more detail, um, I definitely have videos on those. And then, of course, this is just a general post-apocalyptic cube with some of my favorite stuff. Of course, A Boy and His Dog, um, Mad Max, um, 
Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, I Am Legend, kind of a potpourri of post-apocalyptic goodness, if you will. Now, down below, another one of my favorite movies, uh, and I don't know why I went crazy on Big Lebowski. Who knows? Who can understand the inner workings of the mind? Um, of course, we have Toe with Polish. And, uh, again, I've gone through this. It's basically the same. This is the same. The Abrams Trek cube is the same. Cool, I love it. This is pretty much the same. I don't know if I should... I, I added in um, the Steelbooks. Um, Dark Knight Rises. Steelbook is right back there. And then I need to take the cover. I need to unravel that. Um, so that's about the same. And, of course, the uh, Alien Cube is the same. Alien slash Predator. Um, and, again, I won't go into detail. This is This is one of my favorite cubes. And, again, go back and watch the prior videos... Uh, for that. Um, Halloween Cube. Um, I, I made a new Halloween Cube last October, I believe, this past October. So if you want to go take a look at that. Um, it will be changing, however, because as some of you may or may not know, they are releasing a complete box set of all the films. Now that is a separate video I definitely want to make. I'm very excited about that. Including the producer's cut. That's right. Oh my god, so exciting. But uh, I'll talk about that in another video. Next to that, I have uh, Digibooks. Not all of my Digibooks, unfortunately, because they, they wouldn't all fit. But I picked uh, what I think are, are my favorite um, Digibooks. Um, I continue to collect them, so my Digibook collection will grow. Uh, down here, we get into box sets. Um, you've seen this before. Um, just a variety of box sets, um, some new additions like the Tim Burton collection, Mel Brooks. Um, then over here we have HBO box. I love HBO series. I mean, they just knock them out of the park consistently. Uh, the the one I have a rule that everything in here is Blu-ray. All my DVDs are in the other room. Um, I break that rule for only one thing, and that is for Carnival, and it is a, just a, it's a sham that it's not on Blu-ray. It's just a tragedy that it's not on Blu-ray. Just, it kind of makes me angry. Uh, really one of the most original TV series, and really in the top ten of greatest hour-long dramas of the past 15 years in this, uh, how would you say, uh, renaissance of television that we're living in right now. Um, moving down, we've got some more. We've got Boardwalk Empire. Um, let's see, season four will be going in there when it comes out. And we've got Room to Grow. Uh, we have a Walking Dead cube. I'm not completely satisfied with this uh, Walking Dead cube. Um, but that's it for now. That's just kind of trashy over there. And there's a bunch of VHS on the floor and HD DVDs. But it kind of needs to be arranged better. I also have some large um, movie books down here. And uh, then right here, I'm going to be putting another one of these shelves. So actually, all in all, I'll have five more. Five more of these Blu-ray shelves. So a lot of my Blu-rays will be migrating into here. Okay, now on to the new stuff. Um... This is a Harry Potter uh, cube here, obviously. <laughs> the uh, the trunk set, which went on sale this past, um, at around Black Friday, for a really good price. I love it. Um, these are some of the things that came out of the, the trunk set. And then I set some of the Blu-ray uh, digipacks out. Um, and then some other knickknacks that are both from the trunk set and not from the trunk set. But yeah, I just had a lot of cool uh, Harry Potter stuff, and I love those movies. Just absolutely love them. So, that's there. And I wanted to keep a theme, a sort of a fantasy theme, I guess, and go up to Game of Thrones. I love this, uh, how I have this arranged here. Um, eventually, I want to get a little Tyrion <laughs> and have the three of them. Um, so, there you go. Uh, this 
uh, by the way, this box set, which is really cool looking, is actually out of this. Because this is the Amazon exclusive Game of Thrones season three, and I just had to have it. I had to with that with that uh, dragon. That's right. They're called dragons, and uh, just really cool looking. Um, so that's that. Uh, directly underneath that, uh, this is a Disney sort of setup. Um, you've got a lot of little, you know. A big fan of Winnie the Pooh, fan of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, fan of um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, so we have a lot of that in there, and then we have uh, Disney Blu-rays back there. So there you go. Moving down, Star Trek, the original series. Um, don't have the movie collection here. This is just the original series. Uh, of course, we have... Uh, I. I Again, everything's a work in progress, or most of it is, and this is a work in progress. This needs to be hung up back there. Um, for now, it's just laying down here, which is fine because it's actually, you know, it's it's broken. But, um, of course, you guys, Star Trek fans, you'll know from what episode um, this is from. Uh, back here, we have a uh, Diamond Select replica communicator, which is awesome. Um, and we have a Trouble with Tribbles um, Hallmark Ornament, which is just really cool right there. And then, of course, the original series on Blu-ray, which I highly recommend. If you don't have it, go for it. The image quality is amazing, and the fact that you can switch back and forth between the new uh, effects that they did for the show, for the Blu-ray set, and the old effects... Yeah, I mean, you can do it while uh, the episode is playing. It's just a really cool feature. All right, and then next to that, we have Next Generation. Um, now, for some reason, I don't know why. Again, this needs to be worked on. This needs to be tweaked. Um, because I do have the original series movie collection in here for some odd reason. Um, then I have some of the... Uh, I have Season 3 on Blu-ray of The Next Generation. Yes! Hey crazy, where are the rest of the seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation on Blu-ray? They're coming. They're expensive, guys. Um, eventually, I will have all of them um, because they look fantastic and it's just really just really amazing. One of the uh, one of the largest um, restorations so far. Um, and it's just great. Uh, I have the best of both worlds. I love that they put that together. I'm looking forward to um, the season finale when they finally put that out together because I consider that to be the true uh, Next Generation send-off movie. Um, but uh, yeah, so... Um, and then, of course, I've got some figures here. Uh, crazy, what's the deal with the figures? Uh, it's a little weird. A little funny. I always liked the Picard, Wesley, and um, and his mother dynamic, uh, and Data is just sort of standing back there watching. Uh, you know, I always loved it on the series. Oh, I didn't love it. It kind of made me mad to, to be a little nerdish for a minute when Picard would yell at Wesley. Um, uh, so, and then of course Beverly would get mad and they had their little thing that was a friendship, maybe something that could have been more, who knows? But there was always a kind of family dynamic there. I don't know, I'm talking out of my ass and, uh, uh you know, if you think I'm wrong, please do not correct me because I love Star Trek The Next Generation and I would hate to think that I'm wrong. All right, so moving down, we have, uh, what is this? What, what, what are these Blu-rays here? Ah, Criterions. My favorite thing in the world. Sort of. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have left some room here for the, uh, the Criterion sale. Uh, so I put, really, most of my favorite um, Criterion Blu-rays. The DVDs, there are no DVDs in here. All the DVDs are in the, uh, the other room. Uh, again, I'm not going to go movie to movie, even though I'm, I'm having to literally bite my knuckles right now because I, I want to talk about all these movies because I love all of them. But uh, except Godzilla, I, w I wouldn't say love. I wouldn't say love. Don't get angry, please. 
All right, next to that, I uh, don't know why, this is a very stark contrast, but uh, just had a bunch of Simpsons stuff. So, got to have a Simpsons cube. It's nice, it's bright, and it's hilarious. I mean, this thing right here, Homer eternally eating the, uh, the donuts, uh, it, it is one of the coolest things really ever made. And yeah, it is, it's, it's a little broken. I need to fix that. But um, there you go. There's the Simpsons. Now, below that, we have most of my film books. I wasn't able to fit everything in here. Um, but I've got, uh, I mean, if you, any of you guys who are filmmakers or budding filmmakers or whatever, you know, you're going to, you're going to recognize the Hitchcock Truffaut. Um, I love this movies of the eighties book. That's just a fun book. Um, ditto on the, uh, this, uh, book about seventies movies. Of course you got, you know, what? Eisenstein, some film theory books, uh, Ebert's Your Movie Sucks, um, just a bunch of, you know, some are biography, autobiographies, and some are, are, are technical books, uh, some like this that I used for years in the pre-IMDB days, yes, that does uh, age me, that does age me, uh, I use that for my uh, film information on actors, directors, and movies. Um, I have some really, like, recommendations, like uh, The Making of Blade Runner. I highly recommend reading that if you're a Blade Runner junkie. Also, The Making of Dune is a good read. Um, the, the most fun read, uh, though, out of all of these books, is Easy Rider's Raging Bulls, which is all about the, uh, the American New Wave cinema of the 1970s. I highly recommend that. Uh, I've got some Woody Allen, I've got uh, some Lloyd Kaufman, Make Your Own Damn Movie, and it is signed. I won't take it out. I did get him to sign that. And that's about it, because underneath I have a bunch of just stuff, stuff that needs arranging. It's a lot of cool stuff, but it is stuff nonetheless. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Um, also, check below, i got a link to my uh, Twitter account, so uh, you can be kept updated on what's going on. Um, that'll do her. Thanks again for watching. I'm Crazy Jason, and you've been in my wacky emporium, baby.